take a look at race number 14. At the Fairgrounds on Saturday, it's the Grade 2 Race of Star Stakes. It's my hometown racetrack in New Orleans. And before I take a look at the race, I want to welcome you who have recently subscribed to my channel. I thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. As always, I post a full field analysis. I also want to say just kind of bear with me a little bit. My voice might sound a little bit different. I've been battling allergies, and so far, the allergies are winning. Let's take a look at race number 14 at Saturday, on Saturday at the Fairgrounds. The Grade 2 Risen Star Stakes, a purse of $400,000. Distance of a mile and an eighth, Kentucky Derby prep race with 50 points going to the winner. Look at the one horse, Tizzy Indy at 50 to 1. His only win. Come at the maiden claiming $20,000 level where he won by four and a quarter. Hasn't done a whole lot. And the speed figures, well, those are some pretty poor speed figures. You're getting 50 to 1 on the one horse, Tizzy Indy. Look at the two, Awesome Ruta at 30 to 1. Broke his man at Louisiana Downs. It's a two year old, winning by nine. Hasn't done a whole lot since then. Also needs to pick up his speed figures quite a bit. In 30 to 1 on a two horse, Awesome Ruta. Look at the three, 6 to 1. It's Anna Marie. This horse is a closer. Broke his maiden, Churchill Downs. Went in by head, next time out, finished second, increase the speed figures. Then last time out, he won by two, another increase in speed figures. Became a grade two winner in that race. Now, three races, two wins in a second. He is coming in off a layoff. Getting six to one and three horse. Anna Marie should have no problem at all getting the mile in an eight distance. Look at the four. It's Sierra Leone at four to one. Trained by Chad Brown, he spent two point three million dollars on his horse. Blinkers are coming on. Won his maiden debut at Aqueduct. Next time out in Grade Two, Remsen at this distance. Only lost by a nose. A muddy racetrack. It's about a fifty percent chance of rain being forecast right now in New Orleans on Saturday. Getting 4-1 to one on this 4-horse Sierra Leone now. He's making his 3-0 debut. 15 of the last 16 winners of the Risen Star Stakes had a prep in January or February. The only horse that didn't have a prep and went on to win the Risen Star Stakes, well, it was Sierra Leone's dad, Gunrunner. I will use Sierra Leone on my tickets at 4-1. to one. It's a five horse Moonlight at 12 to 1. Trained by Todd Pletcher. Todd Pletcher has won this race three times. Broke his maiden at Aqueduct, a race that was scheduled for turf but switched to dirt. Won that race by eight. Then finished second next time out in the Street Sense. Last race, the Remsen finished fourth in that race. Laurent Giroux aboard, getting 12 to 1 on the five horse. Moonlight. Take a look at the six. At eight to one, it's Real Men Violin. Out of six races, never out of the money. Broke his maiden two races back at Churchill. Finished second behind Anna Marie. The grade two Kentucky Jockey Club. Getting eight to one on the six horse. Real Men Violin. Take a look at the seven. Hall of Fame, trained by Steve Asmussen. Steve Asmussen has won this race three times. They spent $1.4 million on this horse. His maiden debut, he finished second. Next time out, they stretched him out. Man, look at what he did. Was it the, the stretch out? Was it the uh, change in surface? One by ten. Or was it this L right here? He got Lasix in that race. How will he race without Lasix? Well, we're going to find out Saturday because he's not getting Lasix Saturday. Now, did Lasix make him 10 lengths better than the rest of the field? Well, I, I don't know. Jar getting 6-1 to one on the 7 horse Hall of Fame. 15 of the last 16 winners. 
this race previously competed in a stakes race. Hall of Fame has not. But I will still use them on my tickets at six to one. Let's let's see if that last race was just a it's just a fluke or not because it got Lasix. Let's take a look at the eight horse. This is one of my favorite horses. I like catching freedom. I picked him to win the Smarty Jones last time out. In his maiden debut, won by three and three quarters. Next time out, Churchill, he got caught in all kinds of traffic in the stretch. Finished fourth in that race. Then he won the Smarty Jones by two and a half. He's trained by Brad Cox. The last four years, Brad Cox has won this race three times. He owns the fat grounds. Getting five to one on eight horse catching freedom. He'll be closing. He should like that fat grounds stretch. I will use catching freedom on my tickets. Take a look at the nine horse at 12 to one. It's Cardinale, trained by Todd Fletcher, written by Flavian Pratt. When this maiden debut, a length and three quarters, then he stretched them out. Finished second by a neck. Getting 12 to one on Cardinale. Blinkers coming off. Take a look at the 10 resilience, trained by Bill Mott. Resilience is 12 to 1. Uh, he broke his maiden last time out by 4 and a quarter. And uh, had his best speed figure in that race. Uh, what effect did Lasix have on it? Well, we're going to find out Saturday. But Bill Mott is always tough in these races. and You don't want to completely ignore him. You're getting 12 to 1 on the 10 horse. Resilience. Now, let's take a look at another one of my favorites. This is Track Phantom. Track Phantom is 7-2. He will be forwardly placed. He should be the speed of the field. The Fairgrounds Racetrack has been kind to speed horses throughout this meet. Three races back. Broke his maiden, winning by four and three quarters. Then in the gun runner, he won that length, race by a length and a quarter. And last time out, he won the grade three Lacombe Stakes. Yeah, his speed figure did go down a little bit. That's because he went out, he set the pace. He wasn't going too fast. There was no reason for him to go really fast. Getting 7-2 to two on the 11 horse. Track Phantom. Joel Rosario is aboard. When it comes to speed horses, Joel Rosario is one of my favorite jockeys. He does a great job going to the lead and getting horses to settle down. I will definitely use Track Phantom on my tickets at 7-2. to two. And to close out the field of the Grand Tourism Star Stakes. It's B Dancer. B Dancer is 20 to 1. B Dancer won his maiden debut at the fairgrounds. Dallas Stewart is going to stretch him out now. Corey Lanner is a boy. You're getting 20 to 1 on the 12 horse. B Dancer. So these are the horses that I'm using. I'm using Track Phantom, Catching Freedom, Hall of Fame, and Sierra Leone. The horse I'm going to pick to win the Risen Star Stakes. I'm going with the 11 horse. Track Phantom. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let me know who you're picking in this race. Good luck.